You can't get away from Tom Myers. I uh, want to torture you, Mr. Paulina, with some Tom Myers. Are you guys familiar with our buddy Tom? I love his biting political yeah, commentary. I'm actually not, so this will be fresh for me. I'm oh, this is excited. fantastic. So Tom does a political show, Tom Myers versus the rest of the world. And what he likes to start off with is a monologue. He thinks he's Bill Maher. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, so he writes jokes every week. He has a new monologue to go. And we love to break down each joke one by one, starting with uh, this biting commentary on Marjorie Taylor Greene. President Biden gave his State of the Union address. It was an exciting event with lots of fanfare, complete with Marjorie Taylor Greene dressing like one of those people at sporting events with a T-shirt gun. If she accidentally turned it on herself. (laughs) (laughs) Can I point out something that you... What the fuck was that? You didn't get it? Can can I point out the fact that, like, I I can't get over this now because Carl pointed out when we were a guest on your show that he forces the other people to laugh. (laughs) And I can't unhear it now. It's my favorite part of his jokes. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if you'll notice here, I'm going to play this again just to the end here. Can can he turn a regular gun on himself instead? (laughs) (laughs) You're going to notice here... That one of the co-hosts starts laughing before the punchline because they don't know what the punchline is. They just wait for him to pause. Yeah, there's no way to tell. There's no way to tell. T-shirt so, gun. <laughs> so listen, listen to this. With a t-shirt gun, if she accidentally turned it on herself. <laughs> no, 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 no. The joke. She's dressed like a t-shirt guns person that's... No, just say she got hit with a t-shirt gun. It's still a shitty joke, right? right? Yeah, right. But yeah. at least you get to the you don't fucking know, you don't stupid point. You don't need that many point. words to, you get get to the there. dumb point. <laughs> All right, well... You just don't know monologues, Royce. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't worry, guys. It gets better. Republicans were collectively emasculated during the speech. Between the expressions on Speaker Mike Johnson's face and Alabama Senator Katie Britt's affect on the Republican Party's response... The two of them together might make the perfect couple you would meet at a swingers party. Specifically, they would be the last two faces you see before the drugs kick in and you lose consciousness. (laughs) (laughs) This guy has no idea what a swingers party is. I think that's rape. Yeah, Yeah. that's not what a swingers... Everyone goes to a swingers party expecting to fuck other people. You don't have to drug them. You don't go in to rape people. No. <laughs> I came to the swingers party and now I'm getting fucked. What happened? So he does. He just doesn't look like a rapist, huh? <laughs> he lives the gimmick. <laughs> so, so is Tom Myers basically what people from NPR fall asleep to? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's actually what I use to drug people at day. At these Did you have to pull these clips? No, fucking no. Oh, I was Fuck gonna no. say, do you want to talk later? Like, do you need help? A little bit. <laughs> Trucker Andy pulled these clips for us. Thanks, Andy. Uh, we R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guys, you're gonna love this next joke. We're still uh, talking about the State of the Union address during Biden's <laughs> speech. Mike Johnson's facial expressions look like those of the pet in the shelter that no one adopts. And knows it's going to be euthanized the following day. It's the same joke structure. <laughs> well, also, I just want to point out that if you're trying to get a laugh out of people, killing puppies is probably not a great punchline. <laughs> that kind of like sucks. People don't like so, that. So, so far, much. his jokes are rape. <laughs> yeah. And uh, killing animals. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, good stuff, huh? Yeah, T-shirt right. guns. Am I right, folks? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a good joke compared to these. <laughs> All right. Well. Katie Britt, of course, was the one who responded to the uh, the big speech by Joseph, and so he's going to go after her. In her response to the State of the Union, Alabama Senator Katie Britt delivered it from her kitchen, which made it extra awkward, as she looked about as familiar with that kitchen as much as a nun is familiar with a butt plug. <laughs> so, I just want to point out, it wasn't a cooking show. She was just sitting in her kitchen and delivering a speech. How many people watch this? <laughs> just me. <Okay. laughs> like, Thank two. God. It's just Carl, Carl and Nick Mullen, basically. Yeah, right. Just watching them ironically. It's stop it actually checking it out. Andy and Nick <laughs> Mullen. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all. All right, let's keep these jokes going about. He, 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 by the way, he also really is trying to do the Bill Maher voice. You yeah. hear it. You hear it. He's well, he's, to... Yeah, and he's like, he's paint by numbers. Like, he's yes. got the whole being A, B, C monologue. Yeah, like but wrong. Reference. Completely wrong. <laughs> new, <laughs> new rule, okay? This guy's a. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've always said about Tom Myers, if you didn't speak English, you would think he was a stand-up comic when he does stand-up. He delivers <laughs> yeah. it like he's telling yeah. jokes. You know, if you didn't know, you'd be like, oh, I guess that yeah. was a joke. It sounded like a punchline. Yeah, he could be speaking Russian, and you'd be like, are you doing a monologue right now? You're doing an opening night <laughs> you show You should monologue. see his crowd work. It's so natural. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's some more on uh, Katie Brett. Haiti Britt delivered the response to the State of the Union with all the body language of the lady who reads the news on North Korean state TV. <laughs> <laughs> is, is all of the body language even a phrase? What does that mean? All of the body language of... what? No, honestly. Does he think just forcing people to laugh at him is going to, like, gaslight us all and think he's <laughs> yes, funny? Yes! yes. So. That's no, what he saying. thinks. I'm sorry. I get so fucking angry at Tom Myers. I don't Myers. blame you. Dude, me and him sandbag each other all the time because iron sharpens iron. It does. This <laughs> is fucking... I mean? You'd be like, that sucked, dude. It's I don't not know his I... fault. It's the people laughing at him. It's their fault for not I agree. telling this guy how terrible he is. When this show first started off, he had the co-host. He forced them mm-hmm. to listen to him, and he would do his monologue, and it was weird and awkward because there's silence. So I think he coached them and said, guys, you got to give me something. You got to pick the energy up. Yeah, right. So now well, Tom got... Myers loves his monologues and late night shit so much. He should just get a warm up guy. He looks like he, he should is. be doing magic with Penn Jillette. <laughs> 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 All right. I would love to see them attempt the magic bullet trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it going here, Tommy. Judging from that speech, in retrospect, Katie Britt might have been the inspiration for the Alabama court ruling banning in vitro fertilization. <laughs> <laughs> Fertilization? This sounds like a mental hospital. What? <laughs> it, it, these people hit themselves in the head with bricks and then giggle at it. <laughs> I these, hate this place. Should... Nothing works here. I've been here for seven years. They, the should, be, they should be in a poker work. game with Junior Soprano. I'm an admiral on a ship. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> so All right, guys, I know we're saying that he's not a good comic, but don't worry. The jokes get better. Since we were last on, CPAC had their annual convention. One of the speakers there said to look out for dangerous liberal organizations and specifically cited AARP. Uh, The AARP? Dangerous liberals? Really? AARP is retired people, conservatives. That's your target demographic. <laughs> Wait, what? That's just a point. What was the joke? He just, said, he just made a point. Are dangerous. But did he point a gun at them to make them laugh? <laughs> I want to point out, Bam! they hear that inflection. Your target demographic. And they go, oh, I guess that was the punchline. That's the All right. punchline. He went up at the end. That's yeah. how you know. Dude, like, I understand why people still pretend like Howard Stern's funny. You know, when he's sure, like, when they right. work for him, yeah. you know, because you actually get paid. But there's three people watching this. Yeah. No, this what is, are you doing this for? This is weird. All right. So this starts uh, a bunch of jokes about the AARP stuff. The only time retired people are dangerous is when they get out of the bathtub. <laughs> when they get out of the bathtub. I don't see you guys laughing. You didn't hear that? Oh, that was, I, I thought the clip was still going. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, let's see what he's got next here. <laughs> we just lost the senior audience. That's fine, though. <laughs> That's the other thing. He's such a bad boy that he offends people all the time. He's like, well, I guess all the seniors are tuning out now, huh? That was pretty yeah. rough. I, I, I drove two hours to be here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And Andrew Brower had traffic. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. I went to the wrong hotel three times. <laughs> All right, this joke, you guys, please listen to this and explain to me how this is even a joke. I do not understand this. What about January 6th, you might say? Well, they aren't retired. The correct term is unemployed. (laughs) 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 Bleh is the right reaction for once. I want it on record, and this is, I want to make sure that everybody understands that this is a, a legally... Declarative statement right now. Tom Myers, if I ever see you, I'm going to. (laughs) You know what? There's a guy standing over the front row who probably actually could.
<laughs> Dr. Steve, Steve everybody. Was that everyone. is an actionable statement. <laughs> Listen, guys, my flight goes through Baltimore on the way back. I will find him for this. <laughs> Steve, can you get us fentanyl? Just It's for something else. Yeah. It's my back pain. Just give me the patches. I'll chew on them. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have to say, this next joke, I think, is his best joke. Oh, God. It's actually a joke. Okay. Predictable. Oh, fuck. But it's actually a joke. Okay. Mitch McConnell announced he would step down as the leader of the Senate Republicans at the end of the year. He followed that up with. <laughs> okay. Those two were so confused when he went silent, and he was sitting there going, yeah, "Come on, it. come on!" <laughs> yeah, because he was like, they're, "They're like, there's no inflection. Are we supposed to laugh? I can't tell." He should have, have a, he should have applause signs in, in each individual house of these <laughs> co-hosts. Oh my god! And can, what? Also, you can't have your co-hosts have better mic quality than that. They're no. talking through like webcams. No, yeah, they're still doing the Zoom thing. Oh, they're so good uh, on their computer, their laptops. Who are his co-hosts? Uh, well, know? Jeff Heisen is our favorite oh, one of his co-hosts. Of course, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, Je Jeff Heisen is this guy who's in his late seventies. He's an attorney, but he does some stand-up on the side. Uh, on the side. Oh, one yeah, of those. He, he was speaking at Brendan Schaub's birthday. I remember. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, he also was an accountant. I forgot. <laughs> I have one more clip from this monologue, and then we'll wrap things up. Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema has announced that she will not run for re-election to her seat. It's no big loss, as she's buddied up to conservatives so much that Trump supporters considered using her as a substitute for Marjorie Taylor Greene in her fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> Please clap. What the fuck does that mean? Two Marjorie Taylor Greene jokes in the monologue? Oh, yeah. Is he he didn't Don't worry, Tom. You're off the hook. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> 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 <laughs>